we were the ones that drove the whole thing and drove the finally getting the faculty, the Hispanic right. faculty, to accept the fact that that uh, and the president of the university. You know the way the way things worked out was just so. The chairman of the committee for the university to determine who would get honorary degrees that year happened to be a member of the faculty in the Hispanic Research Center and a good buddy of mine, Dr. Santos Vega, uh, to clear Cesar's name getting through the committee. Got it through, boom, boom, President Core signed it right away, and before you knew it, we were on the way with Cesar Chavez getting an honorary degree. And it turned out, and we didn't know it at the time, and it turned out that it was the only honorary degree that he ever accepted uh, yeah. from the university system in the in the country. And everybody was then he didn't he kept denying no no. So he no. had been offered more. Yeah. He had been he offered, been offered worldwide. worldwide. He never accepted. He was offered them worldwide. 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 The Philippines, really? the Philippines right? gave him the Philippine highest honor that he could have received in the Philippines. Because he for did what he did for the, the Philippine Filipinos. workers. The Filipinos oh. in California. Unbelievable. When that, when that whole thing, and I, I had to argue pretty strong the first time I presented the offer to Chicano faculty and staff because the, the president, the chairman, was not, his first comment was, Cesar Chavez does not have a college degree. I said, that's not the issue. You don't have to have a college degree to get an honorary degree. And I named two people that ASU had given honorary degree. And at the same time, and what really sparked the, the interest from students, Marco, from students, was that uh, Henry Cisneros, who was uh, mayor of San Antonio, Texas, and the Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare. And then he was housing, right? Yeah, housing. Yeah, housing, uh, he was, and, yeah. And, yeah, housing yeah. with the... It, that, under it, President, yeah. what was it? He was under President Clinton. Carter. Clark? No, Clinton. Clinton. You're Clinton. right. He Clinton. was under Clinton. It was Clinton. It wasn't Carter. It was yeah. Clinton. And 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 just, just how that came about was that my dean invited my Virginia and myself to go to the uh, to the Henry Cisneros uh, graduation ceremonies and. I had an appointment with students, and one of the students was Marco. I said, Marco, what's your schedule looking like? Any possibilities that you can make time to go with Virginia because I can't go to the uh, graduation? Oh, yeah, I can go. I got comments there. Sure enough, we went. Marco was there, and when he saw that Henry Cisneros got the degree, like, and although Henry was, had yeah. education, he was an attorney and everything else, Marco turns around to Virginia and the dean and says, if anybody should be in line for a degree, it should be Cesar Chavez. And the dean agreed with it. He says, do you think Cesar would be interested? I don't know. We won't know until we ask and go from there. And then I worked on it from the staff side and encouraged Marco to get met and the organization, mm -hmm. the students, to play that role. So I, I provided the transportation to go to California with the students mm -hmm. and uh, discussed it with Cesar. And Cesar only accepted in the end. He said it was okay, but in the end he only accepted it because there was strong student involvement in the initiative oh. for the project. And it turned yes. out that it was the only one that he had ever received from uh, an American university. And then I happened to, to just the way circumstances are, with all of my craziness, that we Virginia and I finally convinced her daughter to pursue a master's degree. Because in a lot of the work that she was doing as a consultant, she was competing with a lot of Latinos that already had their master's degree. Mm. And, and when you come up there, female, with a bachelor's degree. You already got your strikes against you. You're completely, you're yeah. out of luck. Finally convinced her, and it so happened that the university that offered, that she got the, the offer for the master's degree, and it was through the internet, part of it was through the internet, her stepmother was appointed the president of Claremont. And Claremont was extending 
uh, but, but we didn't find out yeah. until later that they yeah. were sending it to Forsyth. But anyway, it so happened that it was at the same time that Lydia was earning her master's at Claremont, and she called me about the whole thing. And she says, is there any possibility that, that you can come to Claremont? Sure, I don't have any problems. Boom, boom, boom. By that, you know, Virginia had already passed. But, and so I went to her graduation ceremony just to support her effort because we had been so uh, encouraging for her that when I got there and I got a copy of the program from Lydia and I saw that Cesar Chavez was going to get in, get in a honorary degree mm. posthumously and that his son, Paul, Pablo, oh, Paul, yeah. was going to be in his, there in his prison. Mm. He and I were buddies. I used to stay with him oh. and his kids when I would go to take the students over to mm. California or when they asked me to be on the... Uh, the, ed the education committee for CESA and that they were going to create through the foundations that I stayed with Paul for a week. And I said, oh my God, Paul's going to be here. And when the whole ceremonies are coming up and everybody's coming on the procession, of her, I made it a point that I was going to be on the edge where Paul would run into me. He's like, hey, what are you hey, doing here? Paul, <laughs> congratulations, blah, 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 my daughter Lydia. Is is uh, getting her master's degree? Oh, that's great! Boom, boom, boom! The whole bit, the, the way the whole ceremony and everything worked out. Is, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Could have never, ever. I, I was just very concerned and happy that Lydia finally decided to take her her word mm -hmm. and went and enrolled. And it took her a year and a half to finish. You know, that's not a problem. She did real well, and her dad was. Crazy. I mean, he was just very happy that he, she got back to school. Her stepmom was, you know, she she didn't expect to be appointed. She had been working as a consultant for for Claremont, and then Claremont ran into some problems. I think it was health issues with the president, and all of a sudden the board decides that Lydia's stepmom could could be the president. For a three-year contract was the issue, mm. and within that three-year contract, you know, we were going to be lucky enough that Lydia was going to get mm. her degree. I said, "Oh my God, this is a a prayer in heaven that yes. that it, it, it came up." You know, <laughs> and now because of that, she has the uh, the office in Tucson, and has all of Southern Arizona and New Mexico. Oh my gosh! Mm. I, I mean. The, Things like these mm -hmm. don't happen. So many coincidences. So many coincidences.